Okay, so we got a cube root here. Um, don't forget what, what, a, what a radical is. That means you're raising something to a, a fraction of a power. So what we're actually doing is we're looking at this mumbo jumbo and it's all to the one third power. And when you have a power on top of one term, that power can come on top of and multiply to, the, to each power on the inside. These are powers of one, so that's just going to be negative 27 to the one third over 64 to the one third which again is the cubed root of negative 27 over the cubed root of 64. So what you could have done to begin with with this is you say, okay, I have a radical. I can make that radical apply to everything on the inside. This is going to be cubed root negative 27 over cubed root 64. But finishing up on this path, um, can we find the cube root of negative 27? You, you guys probably have warning bells going off in your head because you know you can't find the square root of negative 64 because two numbers can't multiply to themselves to make a negative number. Negative times a negative will cancel out. But a cube root can happen. How about a negative 3? If you do negative 3 times itself three times, that does make negative 27 because negative 3 times negative 3 makes positive 9. And positive 9 times negative 3 makes negative 27. And then cube root of 64, uh, what am I thinking here? Oh, 4, right? 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 makes 64. So this is it. Our final answer is that whole thing simplifies to be this guy.